Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? BBS exclusive is about to begin. This episode of DBS Exclusive is dedicated to Dominic Davis, a.k.a. Dom's Media. Now, this episode of DBS Exclusive was not set to air, but given his tragic passing, I felt that I had to, to, to share this to honor his life and hopefully impart some knowledge to the creative community in Jamaica. I hope you enjoy. Yeah. Ready in five, five and set. Focus in five, four, three, two, one. And we're back. And now I'm joined by Dominique Davis, otherwise known as Dom's Media. No, no, we never want to call out him in government name. But you know, you know, you know, this is DBS exclusive, so you have to kind of get to know the people them. True, true. I know you're doing visuals. Yeah. I'm going to repeat, yeah, you know, one's... your name. But you know, brother name, the end. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. All right, so what I want to talk about now, like, can you tell me, like, some of the, 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 the clients that you've been able to work with because you're in this videography, photography space? Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. Well, honestly, I've I've worked with lots of like local talent. Yeah, man, call them name, man. Yeah. Sure. All right. I've worked with um, Jamil. Mm -hmm. I've worked with um, who else? I can't remember. We know all of a sudden, know all of you are whole heap of people, you know. Yeah. All right. To be honest, I, but most of the things that product who I work with would have yeah. been like. The co like I worked at the United Nations. I think okay, that's one nice. of the biggest um, yeah. things. Mm -hmm. I did some stuff for um, an AIDS campaign. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I've done work with lots of like um, you know like non-profit organizations. Some really big ones. I think yeah. those are the things. Leave Red Cross. Yeah, yeah. Um, like those were like oh yo you know you see these people as I look at you going. Mm -hmm. I work with enough local artists that I rate, but mm -hmm. honestly my brain just not mm -hmm. <laughs> not that <laughs> right now. Yeah, but no dams. You work with is like if there's any hot girl out there, <laughs> if there's any girl out there, we have a little two percent of shape. <laughs> she'll go find like dams. Like I do not know. Like name out some of the people who you've worked with, and also tell me like, are you find them? Are them find you? Well, you know, I yeah. work to. Mm -hmm. to the, um, you work enough artists too. Holy pop, yeah. holy pop person work, holy pop people. I work to Chin Unique, but she's one of my most. Yeah, recent yeah, ones. yeah. Ones you know she. She's our brand amb ambassador for Fenty, mm -hmm. uh, so I do, mm -hmm. I do most of her shoots. Oh, say, so you did the shoots that she's yeah, doing for that published. Fenty brand? Yeah, they published. Yeah, if you want to put it down. Yeah, that's, yeah that's, a, that's a big deal, yeah. Um, I work with overseas persons as well. People come in, mm -hmm. shoot, a lot of famous that have been in music videos as well. Mm -hmm. you know, I work with um, other production company as mm -hmm. well, like Phase 3. Oh, nice, M1. yeah. Um, oh, yeah, big up. That's who you were working with when you were at um, Sumface? Or another yeah, client. Yeah, okay, nice. Yeah. yeah. Do a lot of jobs for them. You're going to say, well, again, do a lot of clients. Which is segue into my other question. Uh -huh. Do you think um, it's a pull to be a photographer in terms of just like, you know, like girls reaching out because we're going to try for kind of like, yo, me, I'll just link with you because yeah, you know, definitely. Them can probably try to get a free picture. Yeah, definitely. And kind of flirt up oh, the thing for kind of. Definitely, definitely. But my always advice you're people. Quick, you're quick to spot it or sometimes you kind of get more. Always spot it. Yeah, always always spot it. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Always spot it. I always pick it up. You know, the ones that start to hear, like, oh, hey, what's up? Yeah. Like, the smile, the hard times. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's been over and over nice, you know what I mean? Bro. Oh. To the point where you know, probably just don't want to mention the price. No, I don't, yo, I don't mix do bus business oh, with, with, okay. with that at all. Like, when I'm. Conversation. But you say, yeah. you just slap on the price, same thing. Yeah. <laughs> just, yeah. Like, yo, I love your work. And I say, yes, you should probably book a session. Hey. <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> but try hard it's not for mix it bro because if you do that it's a slippery slope you know for yeah. one you don't want people to feel like you're mm -hmm. not professional mm -hmm. where you go flirt with their clients and you know mm -hmm. them where they especially in this industry you know we'll get to get um, stigmatized yeah because you, know? mm -hmm. you have a lot of you have a lot of creepy Perfect. people mm -hmm. still you know like a lot of creepy people are trying for yeah. girls with like Pictures. Yeah, yeah I stuff. heard about I heard about some of these like um some of the stories. But you know, like dams as me I say, like I see your pages, I mean I wonder like do you go out for like these girls? I think just the other day you were doing a shoot with 
Mm -hmm. um, I think it was uh, a popular like Only, only Fans uh, star, mm -hmm. and I would just be like, mm -hmm. leave it. <laughs> if there is any photographer in Jamaica <laughs> who did supposed to book this, yeah. I must you. Yeah. You know, she reached out to him. Yeah, she reached out to me. Because yeah. she said the type of things the, like the, the, the quality of the mm -hmm. content. Let me tell you what, what happened. Is it? Zane, it's a difference with me and mm -hmm. other persons. You know, I am not the type of person that. You know, I know females feel comfortable to get naked in front of mm. them. That's by their choice, not yeah. Mine, you know, and I also make them feel comfortable within themselves. Mm -hmm. So if they have a look of flam, I say, all right, cool. If you're a body look a scar, it's on yourself. You know how for kind of like position them and stuff. If you have a thing with their waist, we can fix mm -hmm. it for you, know? you know, you know, look something there. Yeah. Yeah, so I guess I make them feel comfortable and, you know, rather more spread. Yeah. And everybody go back to them and say, hey, mm -hmm. dams, make you feel nice and very, very, very. Not the way I think. <laughs> 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 but Christian, um, mm. do uh, honestly like, do you feel like you're a stronger videographer, no, um, cool. or like photographer? Like, which one of like these areas I feel like you're stronger? I think I have it perfectly balanced. Mm. That's, that can't be just be me being high. So like, it also hype. No, it can't be. It can't be that. But I feel like my bit balanced, man. Like, okay. Well, to be honest, mm -hmm. me, I worry. Me, I still try to partner with myself. We see which I'm good at. Them. Yeah. Because a lot of person said I shoot good videos as mm -hmm. well, and I know I take excellent mm -hmm. photos. Mm -hmm. you know? But being at a start out with photography, yeah, I feel stronger. Say photo. I'm stronger in mm -hmm. photography than videography. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So I want you to just walk me through like growing up. Or did you expect that you'd be in this sort of space? Like when you picture yourself like as an adult, like what did you think you'd you'd end up doing? Well, for me, my story is pretty much different. You know, mm -hmm. my father was a photographer himself. Mm. You know? He was the type of photographer on the level that I am right now. Yeah, he was the type of stand up in the park with him make a print and I am on and say, yo, yeah. take a picture. Mm. Oh, take a picture. Like when you used to have that long time picture, yeah, then we take another chair with a chair. But that's a vibe. Yeah. That's a vibe, yeah. bro. You know? So mm -hmm. I pretty much grew up in the area of photography around being my father. Mm. My father grew me. So, until I was ten, I remember I stayed my mind. Yeah. You know? So, um, I started shooting videos as well when I was mm. like probably ten. With mm. it, you know, my father took me and So it's from very early. Yeah, yeah. So, but we never really see myself going in that direction. Yeah. Because they think I'm an artist. Daddy, no, you think I'm probably? <laughs> Yo, that's, that's, crazy. Mind, oh. that's, oh. that's okay. crazy. That's crazy. No, that's actually we, mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, same thing you kind of had that same no, like group. I just thought alright so music was actually my passion mm. right oh so yeah the album <laughs> like, why and then the, the last thing it really like the Grammy yeah, album yeah, vibes you know no yo I used to play guitar I used to play like, I used to produce I mean yeah. I still do I still make music actually mm -hmm. like what happened was music was a, a very slow turnaround mm -hmm. and you know at the time I was juggling in between jobs mm -hmm. I used to work at a car center mm -hmm. and honestly I didn't want to wait out and I was like yo what can I do my cousin was like you know I have like a photography business and I want to kind of have a second. So I was like, okay, but bought by a camera at the same time. I was yeah. like, alright then, go ahead and use it. So I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I must spend like a year, two years just like practicing our own and mm. I had no prior experience. Mm -hmm. This is when I'm like in my 20s. Yeah. So just a shoot, shoot, shoot till he actually saw where I was learning. You have a big up YouTube. Yo, big up YouTube. Right. I basically learned everything about Best photography college. from YouTube. Mm -hmm. And like we have a vast body of photography and video knowledge and mm -hmm. when him just say I took it serious, him just say, Alright bro, what you need? You need some audio equipment, him just buy me some stuff and just go head first in it too. So um music was what I thought yeah. I'd be doing and And then somehow we are I'm here. here. Yeah. But they're intertwined, so it's not they're not separate, like I'm still the same, at the music, same yeah. Art. yeah. Same yeah, art. Still yeah, I'm still. Bro, bro, I'm, I'm songs out here now. Like, can you imagine? Like you literally. Have to step on the stage, I sing and I take pictures. Exactly. <laughs> 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 the music yeah, that's shooting one. I do. I'm gonna show you a music video. I'm gonna shoot myself. I'm gonna produce and shoot it. No, that's fully high. Seriously. That, that is fully well, no, me alone produce. Me and Kalex. Mm. Uh, me, Kalex, and uh, artist named Desh. Me, Kalex, mm. and Desh, and that track. All right. So yeah. I want you to talk to me like briefly in terms of like how you feel like. Um, People in Jamaica, like when them when them think about um, the profession, mm -hmm. like do you feel like people respect Uno? Mm -hmm. Like when they step out in the streets and when they're you know, trying to like negotiate deals and these things, mm -hmm. do you feel the love there? And also, more of hear a little bit about the competition among you guys. Come <laughs> I feel like it has been definitely <laughs> very intense. No, so talk to me like yo, quickly. In the hope, say me never be if you know. Yeah. In the oh, hope. So, 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 so say like. <laughs> So is it yeah or need to like the respect? Like when you're going to be do you feel like people like respect um on and the contribution that you bring to like their um to their company? Well well, you know, my my personal view on it, I don't think persons really value mm. us the way we're supposed to be valued. You mm -hmm, know what I mean? Mm -hmm. If they really understand the the effort and the time and mm -hmm. 
energy were put into this. Yeah. You know, late night, staying up the whole night, I edit food. Give up sleep, you know? um, yeah, yeah you know? food and, and him something. Get up next morning, go for the next job, you know? Mm -hmm. And, and the fact said, in the end, because yeah. your, biz your business is 24 exactly. hours basically. So, yeah. Yeah. We have a bill, we have a place to pay to. Okay. You know what I mean? So when persons approach us and say, all right, boom, a person come to me and say, they want to take three pictures, you know? Mm -hmm. what I mean? And I'm saying, well, I don't take three pillars. I don't take three pillars. Mm -hmm. You know, I have a package that you choose from. You send a package and say, oh, you're too expensive, blah, 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 blah. But yes, still, you know, they want the red buttons and they... Yeah, them, them, pay, them find a them way. Pay them pay Them find a way. For it. So yeah. what is it? Why is it so different from us, what we are doing? But mm -hmm. you know, you understand what I'm saying? All right. So I have to take a little, you know, break right now. Mm -hmm. But I want to come back yeah. to the competition mm -hmm. among, like, you guys as photographers <laughs> and videographers. Stay tuned to DBS Exclusive. <laughs> Five, four, this is the last segment. Mm -hmm. All right. Five, four. Can I take pictures to here? Three, <laughs> two, one. So, guys, as we did talk earlier, what about the competition in your guys' space? It can be that every photographer and every videographer are friends. And I'm, I know people take them art very seriously. Mm -hmm. So I'm doing you criticize a man work and say, boy, you know, I feel like, you know, that they're too saturated. <laughs> the picture, they like, you know, people get up to them feelings and want to work. Yeah, we just did a reason about that just a while ago, actually. Yeah. But luckily, mm -hmm. me and them, man, we're not really beef, is it, man? Mm -hmm. But you do I, have. I think, I think the reason why we're not beef, is it? Is mm -hmm. because they and visuals. In film creativity different from mine. The mm. way he shoots his photos and does his videos is way is different from the way I do it. That's a way better way than no. oh, <laughs> it's a different, oh, different. Oh, oh, oh different. Think yeah. here, like a little no, way better. No. Man, exactly like, that. Man, man. Two I mean, kings here. Yeah. No, no man are greater than no man. But low key, when you got better nine times, you know what you yourself say. The two way are general. Yeah, we we yeah, know yeah. for the. Yeah. I feel I feel like if it's a case where because nobody perfect mm -hmm. and a lot of things that people consider good and bad. Alright, once you reach level where like me and Dom's reach, mm -hmm. we're, not, we're not making the technical mistakes again. Mm -hmm. We have technical mistakes, maybe a bloat, a picture, or... Yeah. But right now we're at the point where it's not technical mistakes. Anything we don't know is, cre is a creative, creative process. Mm -hmm. So if... We if, can't still shoot that over exposed photos. Uh, but we did it on purpose. In our, in our art. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know? Okay. So there's not really much competition yeah. right here. So. What about in terms of like how the more seasoned and um, photographers and videographers like probably looking at your guys' work? Like what is that um, interaction like? Because I can imagine saying, you know, there's a hierarchy I feel where like some people are looking you know, and be like, oh, now I get certain things when, you know, a we day or so set the thing and, you know, kind of you acting know, as a standard bearer. That's, that's a good question. It's a good one. Let me, let me share experience that I had once. Eh? Mm -hmm. I was shooting. Um, that event. Those champs? Uh, yes, man. Stadium. <laughs> champs. On the field with those photographers. <laughs> yeah. Those cleaners. And Every one of them, them, yeah. Them hate me. You see, forget that shot, we literally have a fight out there. Wow. So we had a shoot and we had a fight. Yeah. <laughs> It yeah, was an own Olympic of yeah, event. Yeah, yeah man, it was a whole Olympic for real. Man. Yeah, yeah. You see, the younger we, the younger generation, I think, were more team oriented. The but old we intimidate them as well. The, yeah, the older yeah. set. Yeah, I think. That. Yeah, can probably have some probably like some new dynamic ways yeah, of going about yeah, like how to get the content. And yeah, so and we get the bigger rhythm and mm. them fix. I can't yeah. relate to that. The same like I remember going to a couple of events like mm. doing my hosting thing. And you yeah. know, you go backstage and yeah, you, you see the sta the same there. exact thing. Yeah. But the first yeah. year is like yeah, try get little interview. <laughs> and I know the system and I feel like and yeah. everybody time they get one spice interview and then see everybody look back and like yeah. <laughs> and you feel you know exactly you can feel, you can like feel it man there's a space mm -hmm. and it's just weird because like me and him not go fight for a shot yeah. So if I'm getting shot, I say, oh, damn, babe, I'm getting my yeah, yeah, I say, yeah. I'm like, yo, stay away, then. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, like, it's, it's like I'm literally a fight it out, and there's, there's so much, one person can do all the content. Mm. There's too much content for one person. Yeah. Damn shot, I got different from mm -hmm. my shot. Damn's my third video, me, my third picture. Mm. So there's no need, yeah. but them just now see us in the same space. Yeah. The older heads, mm -hmm. I feel like they have a problem with it. Now, as I was talking about the older heads, when I must realize that you guys are older heads for some <laughs> other um, upcoming That's video numbers, yeah. where they're looking to. <laughs> you guys as like mentors like mm -hmm. have you fully stepped into that space where you probably a tech like on um you know like you, you know Teaching upcoming people, people under on the wings and i try to kind of guide them how to navigate well you know i i i, I usually do that i'm mm -hmm. gonna be honest with you it's just that i don't have the time to do it anymore yeah one time too much money i make <laughs> too much 
Yeah. How much are the, the, the million dollar checks them and stuff? No yet. No. Oh. <laughs> but I claim it in the name of Jesus. 2021, yes. Right, yes, right. Yes. So, Mood. So they look, you don't want them to uh, come up, you know, them look to me and say, all right, I have a lot of persons in my day, man, see me to teach. Mm. You know, I have an institution that is I create. Mm. Yeah. They call me more than one time to ask me to teach classes up here, photography. Yeah. But, you know, it, it, I think, I think, mm -hmm. The information out there is very, is very free. It's free. Mm -hmm. Like as I mentioned, the, the YouTube yeah. and yeah. other spaces. What, what yeah. Most persons come to me and ask me, how do I do this? Them can't just go Google. You see, They're like the discipline. Ask me, I'm not gonna type it in YouTube or Google. Uh, same. Trust me. Same. Say you better than why. Yeah. Me, you know, because the way I might show you how to do it is not the way you might be comfortable. With it. I know. I'm gonna take time for fully, just like exactly. some there say better. I'm yeah. Sure, the way you did edit is not mm. the way I edit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we can use one tool in Photoshop mm -hmm. and do ten million. Exactly. Things. That's yeah. what a lot of persons don't understand if there's one thing i learned about how people learn some mm -hmm. people learn better with like a teacher over them maybe me that, maybe yeah. me and him more like yeah. self with self-learning oriented yeah. mm -hmm. but some persons learn a lot better when somebody like is say okay this is how you do this is the process well i can definitely say that the resources are out there you can you can find anything online you just have to learn to search. Well, me, I'm going to use the tool as a resource because me want to learn some Photoshop yeah, soft skills. Really. So, like, when I probably can't, like, teach I mean, me. Yeah. So, hold on. I mm -hmm. want to know. I want to have some little equip equipment here so that I guess these are some of my favorite gadgets. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, like, just, like, tell me about it. Cause I do not know anything about mm -hmm. camera, lens, and stuff. So, I never know. The, oh, are you guys team Canon or Nikon? Well, Sony. Yeah, Sony. Oh, that's Sony there, too. Yeah. So, Sony. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, Sony, okay. Yeah. I think I have a Canon, I think I have one 90 days. Is like a good camera there? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Every camera is a good camera. Exactly. Oh, the the camera. Why <laughs> would I always say this video? No, but always <laughs> say this. It's just how you use it. So, like, like, walk me through. Like, what is that really, like, ideal for? Like, type of content that is really ideal for? All right, so this camera in particular is a good hybrid camera. You mm. can do both pictures and video. Um, actually, that's the review on, this on, the, on my YouTube the other day. Yeah. But basically, um, depending on the type of work where you do, mm -hmm. it has... Um, Burst mode. So if you're doing sport photography, you can There's do like a there's like a bunch know, of shots up. Yeah, like, rapid yeah. burst. Mm -hmm. It have great low light. So if you're on a great light setup like this studio, mm -hmm. here, then you can yeah. shoot in a low light. It have slow motion. So when you're doing mm -hmm. music videos, um, vibes cartel, slow yeah. motion. <laughs> <laughs> it have every, it, if you are if you're a mid tier mm -hmm. photographer and videographer, yeah, everything in that camera. And if you're broke like me, you can afford it. Like how much that would have roughly like cost? How much US where I look on right there? So I'm say mid tier. So that means here earlier it would have been seasoned. Or if you have a little budget, mm -hmm. it's like fifteen hundred right now. Ooh. But if you're a starting person, there's mm -hmm. eight hundred dollars, seven hundred dollars. I think that's a good budget. Anything between mm -hmm. seven hundred to a thousand. Yeah. If you just want to start. All right, that's more if I show off your own. So what is that we're looking at now? Kind of lens there. It look like if it drop, you're going bad. <laughs> <laughs> lens is a can. This is a Canon lens. Okay. I'm shooting Sony A6500, and this is a this is a um a crop sensor. Mirrorless camera. What I mean, what a crop sensor mean? What I mean, there's a smaller sensor inside mm -hmm. it than compared to that one. That's mm. a full frame, so you get more more light enters that one than this. But okay. This is still a good camera. Mm. So ideally, like, so if you were to let's just say like you got chumps, mm. is that something that you pick up? Yeah, man. Mm. This is a good hybrid camera you can use to both videos and mm -hmm. pictures. It shoots low, in great in low light once mm -hmm. you put the right lens on it. Um, it does the same burst thing as that one. Yeah. You know. Can I shoot in the 4K, right? Yeah, it's mm. yeah. 4K. Um, How much that would have cost you? Well, the body alone I spent was 1200 US. Mm. I have an mm. A7R2 as well as a you know, camera. Cheaper than a girl, I'm going to go Dominic, I forgot to do them, buddy. <laughs> 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 I'm just saying, well, you're familiar with a couple of them. We know, know you shoot the, you know? I know, I know you yeah, shoot yeah. the geometry set there. Well, yeah, it's, it's, it's way much cheaper than a, 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 yeah. a body surgery. That's it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, so. Um, Alright, so that's it. So, you know, as we kind of come to a close, I really want to know for just like have a little message for the youth. I'm coming sure a lot of people look up to Uno and mm -hmm. so now do. In 15 seconds, just kind of give a little one type of encouragement to, you know, any youngster out there, boy or girl, who would like to, you know, be a videographer or a photographer. So, your camera there right there, so. So, just look, take it away first. 15 seconds, go. Um, Alright, 15 seconds. Guys, if you have a passion for photography or videography, the resources are out there. Go to YouTube, don't be afraid to reach out in DM. Sometimes people won't respond. We have lots of persons that will respond. Even I'll respond. Mm -hmm. It might not be the same time, but let's try. Is it a yes or no? You, you won't die. Well, my, my view is, you know, if you're going to do a creative world, you know, don't do it for the money. 
you have to love it. If you don't love it, you're not going to make the money night. Simple as that. So do it from your heart and everything else will flow. Yeah, man, as simple as that. Well, thank you very much, like Dom's Media and Dane Visuals, for this very, um, what do you call it, invigorating me. I try to find you and use me like a big word in the vocabularies. <laughs> yeah. You know, thanks for this chat. I'm sure it must have, you know, helped somebody out there. Uh, this is the end of DBS Exclusive. Thank you so much for watching. Please go and follow these guys on their social media. And to follow me as well at Dutty Bear Show, I have to go and big up my sponsors, PBCJ. And on that note, take care until the next time when I'll be talking to some more content creators. This is DBS exclusive. <laughs>